Kyle Fields from Clean Technica and I'm cruising up some of the largest hills in the city of Ventura. Uh, you can see the beach, the platforms and uh, Ventura kind of stretching out behind me. And more importantly, I'm here today on a boosted board. You might be able to see that down here below me. Um, this thing is just booking up these hills like nobody's business. No joke though, these are some wicked hills. Uh, I might as well be able to tell when I'm flying down them. Uh, controlling my ride with this remote here in my right hand, which you can see as I'm doing now, you can actually slow down to stop at stop signs and follow all the appropriate traffic laws. Um, but that's not the reason we're here. The boosted board is a possible solution for many uh, younger travelers uh, for the last mile problem. So that's where you've got kind of public transit that will get you most of the way where you want to go. And that works mostly. <laughs> so this uh, boosted board, in addition to being tons of fun for carving up or down hills or on flatland even, uh, this could be used pretty well um, to bridge that gap. So uh, take the bus to where you need to go, bring your boosted board, which weighs right around 20 pounds, maybe a little bit less than 20 pounds. Uh, to get to your final destination. So if you're going to work, you're going to school, you don't want to show up all sweaty like you've been walking or running or riding a bike. Biking would be okay, but it just gets a little unwieldy on um, longer trips, whereas this boosted board is a lot more manageable. You can take it on the bus with you, on the subway, no problem. Um, it comes with a lot of other benefits. It gives you six or seven miles of all electric range. So you notice I haven't been pushing. I'm not just dogging it up and down this hill. Uh, I'm just kind of cruising along in uh, mellow mode. Uh, the board, in addition to having a battery throttle, which is where my thumb is here, actually has built-in regen. So you pull the trigger and you might be able to hear, I can definitely feel it, but it actually kicks in a little bit of regen here as we're going down the hill. In addition to that, I can throttle it backwards and use the motors to slow down, which is kind of nuts. Uh, but as you can see on this side, this hill is no joke. Um, this hill would eat me alive if I didn't have this board, but I, I can go down it without worrying too much. I mean, it's still pretty scary. This is like the steepest hill in the city. Um, and I can slow down. So you can tell I'm taking a more intentional posture here. Uh, but yeah, this board is amazing on so many different levels. And I've had a ton of fun with this thing over the last week and a half or so. Uh, super eager to get this board and uh, having a ton of fun with it. Uh, so in terms of entertainment or leisure time, this board is fantastic. Uh, just about everywhere I go, People are asking me, what is that thing just staring at me? And granted, it is a skateboard you're standing on and you're just booking up the hill or around the park, wherever you're at. Uh, but it also has these bright orange wheels, which kind of just scream, look at me. Um, and it's a ton of fun. So I'm actually going on flat ground here. And you can see it'll actually hit about 20 miles an hour, I think in my kind of rough test. I think the official number might be 22. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'm actually carving uphill now. And this hill, I was out here just the other day and my neighbors all came out. And I think just about every one of them wanted to try this thing. I mean, it just looks amazing. Um, I think especially for folks who are my age, I'm 36. And this boosted board, um, Reminds me of my childhood. I mean, I guess not childhood per se, but uh, in high school and college, I was zipping around on these things, these long boards, and uh, they're just a lot of fun. Um, this boosted board packs a battery pack um, here in the top that actually provides around six to seven miles of uh, all electric range. Usually we put that phrase in front of uh, plug-in hybrids or electric cars, but uh, also applies to the skateboards now. Uh, so you can see at the top there, the larger pack is the uh, the actual batteries. 
and the lower pack there is the motor controller for the uh, the two motors which you can see um, right here on the hub uh, so this is what one motor and two motors this is the boosted dual uh, each of these motors packs a uh, thousand watts of power for a total of its uh, power of uh, 2,000 watts or two kilowatts, uh, which is right around three horsepower. Uh, these motors are connected directly uh, to the wheel uh, via a belt drive, which is belts and gears. Uh, and these aren't just normal wheels. Uh, they actually have a special hub there at the bottom that's reinforced to give them a little bit extra durability. Um, you can also tell these wheels have been really put to the test. I mean, I've been zipping up and down these roads here uh, I've been zipping around parks and I'm not I'm not just a casual rider I used to uh, to downhill on these things uh, took it pretty seriously uh, I've actually got full knee pads and elbow pads and uh, it's just an old bike helmet I had uh, but I did have a helmet that I would actually wear when I would be zipping up and down the hills so um, very familiar with how a longboard is supposed to feel um, and this does feel very much like a longboard um, in terms of traditional riding I would say the board feels really nice. The deck feels really nice. Uh, the trucks, in terms of the, the turning, uh, so the kingpin tightness is a little bit tighter than your average board, and that's really just a testament to the power. When you're putting that much more power and speed to the ground, uh, you don't want wobbly trucks. Uh, you'll get speed wobbles very quickly, and uh, it'll end uh, poorly, to say the least. Um, been there, try to avoid it, and thankfully this board kind of mitigates that. Uh, from the factory. You can loosen those. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, anytime you're you're hitting that 20 mile an hour range, uh, especially when you're accelerating and carving, uh, you, you need the extra tightness in the trucks. Uh, that does make it a little stiff on tight corners like this this dead end here in my on my uh, my neighborhood. Um, but it's not terrible. I've been able to successfully navigate this um, dead end here many times uh, no issues you just have to kind of practice a little bit and put a little more tension in when you're turning uh, as far as the ride this remote is is amazing uh, it's got this gray button at the bottom and you can just tap that three times and it, it beeps at you and that what that's doing is that's changing the mode of the board so one is like beginner mode uh, the first time you ride it you put it in mode one um, it really just motors around pretty pretty mellow a um, couple miles an hour but that's really to give you the uh, the feel for the the power and get used to the the throttle especially for folks that aren't familiar with skateboards you just kind of get the feel for the the deck and the board the handling and it's perfect um, I've let a dozen people or so ride this thing a bunch of kids uh, that have ridden boards and not ridden boards and, and nobody fell off nobody got hurt um, but yeah, mode one is perfect to get used to the board. Um, you tap it three more times. While the board is completely stationary, it beeps twice. That means it's in mode two. Uh, that's a nice cruising mode, um, maybe eight miles an hour. Uh, again, still pretty mellow. The acceleration is a little bit tapered down versus what you get in the full mode. Um, mode three is kind of your, your I know what I'm doing cruising mode. Uh, I think this would be fine for most things I do. We live in a hilly neighborhood, so Personally, I like level four. Level four is the mode that'll eat you alive. Uh, if you're not paying attention when you're standing on the board, it'll torque you right off of it. Uh, we like to talk about electric cars being torquey, and this thing uh, is torquey. You'll notice I lean forward before I give it some throttle. And this is a downhill route. Uh, so I'm actually using the regen only right now, and then off and on to kind of slow myself down perfect speed um, on this hill the board feels really good cruising down the hill uh, get my adrenaline going working down a little bit but this board is just tons of fun uh, there are three different versions of this board uh, this one is the dual which as I noted it's got 2,000 watts of power uh, all that goes straight to the ground um, when you when you torque it up and uh, it'll give you a nice kick. Uh, that one's $1,500. There's a slightly less powerful dual motor version for $1,250. Uh, actually, this is the dual plus. The dual is the $1,250 version. Um, again, you can just see me motoring up this hill. Uh, and then there's the uh, the normal boost, the boosted single, I believe it is, and that one is 1000 
So you've got you've got your options uh, with the boosted boards. Um, you can choose your power to suit your needs or to suit your your risk, I suppose. Uh, at the same time, um, and it's just a fun board. I can see this being just a, a complete recreational um, board to buy, though it is a bit on the pricey side for something like that. Um, or you could buy it for um, actual commuting, and I can see it working well for that. Oh. Wrong way. So this is the boosted board, uh, the boosted dual plus, and uh, Kyle from Clean Technica signing out.